What's up guys, this is Chris from Warrior Soul Fitness. Um, I wanna talk a little bit today about a subject uh, that might relate to a lot of you, and might not, but I particularly wanna talk about relationships. Relationships between men and women, relationships between men and men, heterosexual, homosexual relationships, whatever that may be. Um, when I was younger, I went through a phase of kind of not treating women with respect. Uh, the girls I was with, I cheated on. Um, I lied a lot. I used to kind of look at it as if the girl was just there for when I needed her, um, but went out and did my thing, you know, uh, went out and um, just kind of acted like an asshole. Um, went to the clubs all the time, um, and I was kind of bored with the woman I had. Um, and I think there's a lot of you going through the same thing. And one of the reasons why I really want to go through this is to help you and kind of get you to avoid some of the mistakes that I made. I'm in a fantastic relationship with my girlfriend right now. It's probably the best relationship I've ever been in. And it's for a couple of different reasons. The first thing first is this. This is the first relationship I've ever been in where I didn't feel like I actually owned the girl. Um, and what do I mean by that? We as men tend to try to take ownership of things. We try to say, all right, this is my girl and she's mine. She'll do what I want. Um, in exchange, I'm going to provide for her. Uh, if it's your wife, you're going to provide for her. You're going to provide for your children. And that gives me leeway to go and fulfill my ambitions, right? We justify it like that. We say, okay, you're going to stay at home or you're going to do this and I'm going to go out and do my thing and I'm doing it all for you. So that makes it okay. Um, and in that psychology, we're not actually acting biologically like men. We're not acting biologically like father. What we're doing is trying to live up to some sort of social construct that we've been taught. It's an image of a man that we're trying to emulate. The fact of the matter is though, when you see things through this point of view, what's going to happen with you is you're going to get bored with what you have. You're going to get bored with your relationship because you feel like you own your woman. You're basically treating her like a possession. And so when you do that, as with all of your possessions, just like your Nintendo 64, just like your Sega Genesis, it starts to look a little bit old after a while and becomes useless. Right or not useless, but becomes something that you don't have the interest in that you once did. This also emulates from a bit of insecurity on our part, because if we treat our woman like a possession and something we own, then we don't have to think about what the reality is. The reality is that your woman or your partner or your man or whatever can leave you at any time. The reality is that he, she, whoever can leave at any time and leave you alone. You do not own them. Even if you're husband and wife, you do not own them. That puts a very different perspective on things. When you start to understand that this person is someone you can lose, that this person has hopes, ambitions, dreams, and things that might make them great, that brings a little mystery to the situation. And all of a sudden, something goes off in your brain and you realize that, wow, this person can leave me at any time. They're with me right now. I really need to work in order to maintain this relationship. In addition to that, allowing your partner's light to shine can really help in this manner. Allowing your partner to go out and do the things that they really want to do. Supporting their ambitions, supporting their dreams, supporting their wants and needs. Um, so many of us are so scared to let our partners shine. So many of us are so scared to let our partners go out and follow their true ambitions. But why not? When you see your partner in his or her best light. When you see your partner in the position that they're supposed to be in and doing what they truly want to do with their lives, then you see your partner at their best. And I think it's a sad situation that a lot of us are so scared to do this, that a lot of us are so scared 
to allow our partners to go out there. And it just leads to situations where we feel stuck in relationships and bored with what we have. We take the mystery out of life and we resign ourselves to a script of what we think is supposed to be when the fact of the matter is things could be so much better. Hope that wasn't too complicated. I uh, just wanted to get that out there. It's been on my mind for a while, but I think in the end, if we stop acting according to our script of what a man is and start acting like a human being who happens to be a man and who can acknowledge that others might have hopes, dreams, wishes, and things like that, that we can support, I think then we'll all be better. So it's Chris Albert, Warrior Soul Fitness. Peace.